New tonight, the man wanted in connection to a double homicide on Shenandoah Avenue turns himself into police. Community is still searching for answers after an 11-year-old boy was shot and killed by a 10-year-old. Police say the two were playing with a handgun found in the home. Tonight at 11, we take a closer look at guns and the impact of gun violence here in our area. Figures show Roanoke was among the top five cities in the Commonwealth for firearms traced and recovered through the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. These numbers include firearms related to homicides, drugs and to other crimes. It started being enough when the guns started killing our kids. Makisha Lipford has had enough with gun violence. Her one-year-old granddaughter, Araya, was shot and killed five months ago. Now, this memorial with pictures, mementos, and Christmas presents she never got to open are reminders of a life taken by gunfire. My granddaughter passed away to see how she went. It's a very hurtful feeling. Lipford says the weapon used by the shooter, Warner Hunter, was registered in his name. She believes the president's plan for more background checks would not have helped in this situation, but it may prevent future crimes. Just because you can't go inside a store and buy a gun, it's people looking for money every day that would go inside a store and buy guns for people that don't need them. So the problem is, is getting them out of the wrong hands. Flowers, balloons, and personal messages make up this makeshift memorial for Andre Dequine Webb. The 24-year-old was shot and killed Sunday. Friends and family continue to mourn. He was not a bad guy, and this was not his beef. He, he died innocently. In the wake of Dequan's death, at this vigil, emotions ran high as police check on why a large crowd is standing in the road. After learning their mourning, the loss of a son and friend, uniform officers leave, and the focus returns to the young life gone too soon. On this cold winter night, heavy hearts gathered in memory of Ronald Ramey. His oldest daughter, Chastity, shared memories of her dad. My dad was such an amazing man, and he, you know, he warmed the hearts of so many people. The 55-year-old was one of two people killed during a shooting here on Shenandoah Avenue in Roanoke. Four others were injured. At the same time that a suspect finally turned himself in, loved ones grieved for Ronald, or Ramrock as they like to call him. So I think that we're dealing with it the best way we can just knowing that he's given us all of his strength. It didn't have to happen. The next time that anybody out there thinks of using violence to think about us, to think about my dad, Ronald Ramey.